Hey, do you work in a volatile industry? What you talking about? Keep watching to find out. Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be talking to you all about volatile industries during a recession. The coronavirus is here and it's been causing many businesses and industries to suffer and in turn has caused a lot of people to lose their job. As a result of all this, we are now experiencing an economic downturn and some experts are even predicting a recession if things don't improve soon. Essential businesses like healthcare, law enforcement, public safety, and food are more resilient to recessions than others. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those businesses and industries that don't fare as well during a recession. A common factor among the industries that struggle during a recession is consumer spending, which goes hand in hand with the economy. The decrease in consumer spending is something that happens in essentially all the recessions. When people lose their jobs due to something like an environmental disaster, for example, the coronavirus, they usually have less discretionary income, if any. So things that aren't necessary are cut from the budget and industries like technology, apparel, and furniture are hit the hardest. It should be no surprise that when there's less money floating around, there's less people flying around. Traveling and vacations are expensive and are some of the first things that are cut from budgets. These industries have a domino effect on each other. For example, Disney has closed their theme parks indefinitely because of the coronavirus. Because Disney and other major theme parks are closed in Orlando, a lot of people have no reason to come here. Therefore, less flights are coming to and from Orlando and hotels and resorts have to shut their doors or reduce operations. In a place like Orlando where tourism is the primary industry, almost all businesses suffer, like retail, rental car companies, restaurants, nightclubs, and entertainment. The film industry is another that suffers during a recession. Film production is reduced or stopped and release dates for theatrical films are moved to later dates causing movie theaters to suffer. The same thing happens for television, performing arts, music, and gaming. Production is paused, dates are rescheduled. And from a consumer's perspective, these things aren't necessary for survival, so they are cut from the budget. But given how they can be relatively cheap, they might be one of the last things to go. The last industry I'll mention today is the real estate industry. Buying a home is a big purchase that requires a big monetary investment for most. People who own homes already don't want to sell their homes during a recession or an economic downturn because they will most likely be selling at a loss. Who can blame them? But for people who are looking to buy a home for the first time, can see the benefit of this because, hey, the housing prices have dropped and they can get a good deal on a new home. But at the same time, many will still find the risk too high considering the uncertainty of the economy and the cost of purchasing a home. These factors make it hard for mortgage lenders and real estate agents to find new client during a recession or an economic downturn. So that's it for me. Always remember to keep your dreams in sight.